The world that you're seeing isn't the true world. All of this that I'm seeing right now is just a virtual reality. It's like you're born with a headset on playing a video game. That's your reality. But if you're the programmer who wrote the code for the game, you know that there's an entire world outside of it. And as the programmer, you can do miracles. And do you think we're getting closer to being able to edit the code? That's exactly what I'm working on right now. And we're opening up a realm of new technologies that are far more powerful than anything we've seen before, like time travel. And nuclear bombs will be like firecrackers. And will people suffer? So it's like Pandora's box. There's all sorts of nasty surprises, but they also could be miraculous. But either way, just in the last few months, it started to crack open. So let's talk about that. Okay. So, according to Darwin's theory, our sensory systems, eyes, ears, smell, touch, are not shaped to show us the truth. They were shaped to keep you alive long enough to reproduce successfully. Because seeing the truth takes too much time and energy. And so, whatever reality is, it's utterly unlike anything that I perceive. But what does this all mean for the nature of how one should understand their life? Well, if you're stuck in a boring world, that's a world of your own creation. That's not the real world. And my conscious experiences are nothing but what my brain creates. And so, we feel inadequate, and we feel like we need to compete with other people. But you're the inventor of this whole thing. You have nothing to prove. And there are much more interesting perspectives that we can take on ourselves. So if you really knew who you are, you would see no need to compare or compete. And if you want to understand the truth of who you are beyond just this headset description of you, then you have to...